everyone, Jack from the Clitzy Outdoorsman here. I want to take this opportunity while those guys are getting their stuff ready to do a little intro. So this is the second day of our fishing trip uh, with the guys from Illinois. And today we are at a lake that I can't tell you about. The reason why is it has no access and we're going to be catching some gigantic bass. Uh, so sit back and enjoy. My dad and I are going to be in the canoe throwing some wacky wigs for some giant Minnesota bass. So I need a wacky worm, but you, but you're all set. Ooh. So I need a wacky worm first. I, I think I'm going to go. Oh, oh come here. Kind of like California craw. It's just like any other, um, you know, bass you're fishing for. So you want to get pretty close to shore. Okay. Yep. All right. So basically, just a wacky, a wacky hook and wacky worm. Just hook it about in the middle, doesn't need to be super precise. Real simple. <laughs> I think they might be getting a bit frustrated. All right, so you can reel in. So we're pretty shallow right here, which is fine. Got something? Oh, oh, no, you got a bass. You got something nice. Come on, Dad. Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a bass. You'll have to land it right next to the boat. Nice. And there you have it. Wow. Your first fish of the day is a three pounder. Wow. Nice. Can I show those guys? Huh? I mean, we're, you can just let it go. Wow. Look at the size of that fish. Yeah, that's about average, even on the low end. Oh, I missed one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Good fish, Dad. Nice. That's fun. That was cool. Yeah. I thought I was snagged. No. Nope. You, you might have been, and the fish looked at it and went, the, the worm's in trouble, it needs to die. Right. You might need to paddle to get us closer because the drift is going to send us away. Not a bass. I mean, he ain't very big, but a bass. Come here, little thing. Really? Nice. What was that? There. I have more room to work with. Oh, little guy. Cut his upper lip a little bit, but I think he'll get over it. What was that? 
Who are you? There's like a bunch of little fish. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of like um, bluegill right next to my worm there. <laughs> Funny. one's catching us now. Oh, I saw that. I saw it take your, or hit your lure. Where did they come? Oh. <laughs> Try and get it around it. Rut row. Can you yank it, yank it off? Like you really have to get it tight. Nope. I mean, it can't it can't be as bad as hooking ten feet up. I mean it's on ground level it's on sea level. How bad could it be? second you might have to take a paddle and push oh shoot yeah. push off from your end to get it closer <laughs> no. there you go Give yourself a little slack line, that'll help. Okay. Oh, you got it? Almost. Almost. That's okay. It's okay. Got it? Cool. Dad's got a nice one. Gentle now. Oh, that's a nice one. That's probably one of those four pounders I just mentioned. Ooh. There you go, Dad. There you go. Woo. Grab him right by the mouth. You got this. Yep. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Dad, face me. Look at that fish. Whoops. There you go. Oh, that's a thumbnail. Oh, right about there's a thumbnail. Awesome. Let's get it. I'll grab the scale and we can weigh that guy. Really? Yeah. Dad's fish right there and I got the scale. Hook them. Um, come on. Okay, this fish has to be bigger than two pounds. This is like three pounds right there. I bet you that's. It's got to be closer to three and a half, four. I don't really. I don't know if I really trust that yeah. scale because that's a nice fish. That's beautiful. Will you take my picture with him? Yeah, I mean, I already did it with the GoPro because oh, I can you film. Can, you can email it to me. Yeah, I can. I can take a snapshot of that. Okay. I'll let him go. 
Yeah, be gentle with him. <laughs> all right, give me five. <laughs> that was all right. That's awesome, Dad. Nice job. Dad's got another big one. Oh, <gasps> it's another bass. Oh, and that one also took the wacky worm. Turd. Nice. Just as big as the last one. Oh, you can see it follow. Wow. You saw it, um... Rear up and take your, take your um your lure. You can see it following it. Wow. Good going. I'll grab you a new worm. Whoa. I'm having a hard time getting this one. Hey, here's your worm. <laughs> so take it from the inside out. Okay. Like you can take the, the the top of it, but push it in instead of trying to work its way out. Yep, like that. Like this? Yeah, like that. Dad, you're gonna take over this episode yeah. on the YouTube channel. You're out fishing everyone. How many times in your life has someone said that? <laughs> oh, Mike, you're just out fishing everyone. Did you get a picture of it? Good enough. Yep, we're good. He wants to go home. He's got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, he wanted to get home. Oh, it was so much fun. I could see it following it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and I was just reeling in over those lily pads because I threw it too far. And so I was just reeling really quickly. And I could just see it chasing it. That was so cool. She would have cut that on camera. Got a Mr. Bass. Woo. Lively. Nah, not really. Watch him just thrash. Okay. Got him. Not so bad. No, it's a two pounder. It's not so bad. Hooked him just perfect. Right behind the hard part of the mouth where it's kind of soft. And he just. You just took it. There was no dunk or anything like that. You just nailed it. That's a pretty good one. That's not bad, Bass. Off he goes. Oh. Another squeaker. <laughs> it's a fat so though. No, Dad, that's a field. What? Can you see the field behind it? The field's just flooded. Oh, okay. That's really not part of that. Another nice one. Oh, I take it all back. It's a cruddy pike. He just got himself all in the cabbage. Gross. I'll pass. Yep, just off of that point. Toss her in. Yeah, anytime. Perfect cast. Got one? No.
Yeah, it's pretty shallow right in here. Yeah, it takes a lot of work to be as good as us. I think my is over. By our counter, 55 and 3 quarters. I don't know. I don't know. We're good, Dad. He caught a nice fish. Did you? Good. Probably the one that I was playing with you. <laughs> hey, man, you that that's a fishing lure. You can definitely tell it's a non-resident. Yeah. Just not buying it. So you got to show me this. Show me what. Setup is. Wacky rig. It's just a straight up. It's, it's a Senko. Up. It's a Senko worm yeah. on. Um, it's a, a jig head that has weedless barbs to it, yeah, or not barbs, wires. Yeah, wires. That's yeah, it's it. a weedless, what I call a lead head or whatever. Yeah. You could almost use a crappie uh, uh, hook. I mean, a uh, uh, crappie walleye. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say like an actual lead head jig head. Um, those. Yeah, it's shaped differently. This one's shaped a bit different. It's it's specifically designed for wackies. Sorry, Dad, beating him up. Huh? Yeah. Yep. So that's that's nice. Um. Okay. Yeah. This worm with a spinner on it. Yeah. Is that what you caught the nice bass on? Yep. Right through here. It was over just to the left of where those trees and okay. the water so had a clearing of it. And then, or, well, then where was it? Every time I looked, yeah. you had a fish. You guys had one, you had a northern on and you had a bass on at the same time in the corner up there. Yeah. Dang. I had a, a, a northern that I hooked in the gill and then it came up with a bunch of lake weed on it. Oh, right. One of those things. Mm -hmm. My guide had to get it off for me. Got my got my pliers out and we're getting cold though. It's about ten thirty right now. Mm -hmm. What was that? There's a lot a lot of paddle time too. Mm -hmm. it's full of bass. It's just that they want you can use wacky rigs in Illinois. I bet you you'll catch a whole bunch down there too. Yeah, yeah. I've never mm -hmm. seen that rig. He says he, he has those. I've seen the, the worms. Yeah, you see the worms. Never seen that setup. My buddy. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Depends on how deep you need to go. Yep, so they have two little wires that stick off from the actual jig head. It's like a slow death rig or something like that. <laughs> yeah, this stretch really wasn't that great for us. All right here. Yep. Or we may or may not try and fish this the shore, but I bet you it's really the wind's gonna pull push us all the way back in. I'm tired and I have to cook fish for you guys, so. Oh, oh, hey, if, if you're if what you're saying is yeah, you're not obligated to cook for me. You can have mine. I'm fine with that. I could eat all the fish by myself. <laughs> but I, I want to share. So. Yeah, that makes it tough. I kept our uh, reputation as idiots good though, Frank. Oh? I left my rain pants in the truck. In the truck? I get all wet. I brought them with me and then left them in the truck. Are you serious, Dad? Dad, are you it, it, It's in the truck. Oh, oh yes, it will.